so. All right, talk to Living Way. And, oh, okay, that scene. Uh oh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, while you were away, a rent in the fabric of reality suddenly appeared. Uh, th uh, through it, we could observe you locked in furious battle with Zeromas. Oh, okay, they could see through that too. Cool. Um, by the time it closed up, uh, we had seen your victory. Well done, by the way. But we still couldn't breathe easy until we knew for certain you were safe and sound. And here you are, thank heavens. Uh, dare I hope Ashdaya is safe too, and zero? In a word, yes. Uh, though we, uh, we could not return Ashdaya to her original form, Freetrick granted her a new vessel using one of his eyes. Her circumstances are unique, uh, but it nevertheless gives me hope uh, that there may be a way to save other Void Scent. Oh, interesting. Okay. As for Zero, uh, she has chosen to remain in her world and do what she can to restore it. Oh, interesting. Ah, so the light of hope shines again amidst the darkness. Perhaps our research into environments capable of supporting life would be of use in the 13th. Oh, -ho. now there's a thought. Okay. A day, uh, a day may come when the people of the Source and the 13th work hand in hand. In anticipation of this, we must accumulate even more useful technology. Okay. Ah, but don't let us detain you uh, with our cavalcade of brilliant ideas. We'll see the... Uh, we'll see that the gate is closed and the seal deactivated, so go home and get some rest. That includes you, Uriashe. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> As thou doth command. Uh, oh, doth command. Uh, pray convey our gratitude to the Watcher for his timely assistance. I don't think we ever saw the Watcher, now that I think about it. Or at least I don't think we saw it leave the tower, but... Uh, it would seem... Breacher is preparing to depart. Come, let us descend to the Tower of Babel. Uh, upon arriving in Garlemald, uh, it would be meet to inform uh, Julius of our mission's outcome. Let us seek uh, him out at Teritrum. Okay. That's a weird sentence. I'm, I'm not sure if that was right. I mean, I believe in the devs and whatever, but I just don't... Uh, yeah, I can't say that, uh... Okay. Um... Yeah. Pardon me. I'm just gonna teleport. It's easier. Um... Yeah, that was just a weird... I don't know if this is just a weird turn of phrase, or... How to put it, but it, it felt weird. Okay. you again. Is everything all right? Oh, dialogue. Nice. I would like to think so. Yeah. Plot! <laughs> so you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. Yeah, sort of. I think Channeling it... light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross-rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. Yeah. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Yeah, that's fair. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. That feels a little weird, but yeah. Thanks for what? I don't recall doing anything in particular for her. On the contrary, she's the one who risked life and limb. 
think it's more for reminding her what makes people human almost. Like Still, I don't know. I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. That's that's kind of what I feel like anyway. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. Mhm. Mm but some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Gala Mold to show her. A few less death robots would be great. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alphino. Uh-oh. Word has spread of our dealings with Razat Han, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. It never is. But on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. Okay. I'm... I'm... I'm getting... I'm, I'm sensing a but. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement. That Garlia oh, okay. take the lead. I can see the sense in that. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. Oh. <laughs> nope. Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. No, no vacations. You've done so much for yeah. us already. I will save the universe we'll twice the next time. In the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, I'd choose somewhere warm. Mm. I'll be honest, um, this might just be, like, my own, uh, whatever talking, but I'm not crazy about the heat, so I, I much, uh, like, I understand I'm not crazy about, like, you know, sub-zero temperatures like they have all the time, but I prefer the, uh, like, the cold, so... I was thinking of taking a break anyway. Aww, he doesn't want to go. Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. What? Hmm. As an independent party, you would be well suited to the task. An excellent idea, Alize. Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. Nah, uh, well, you, know, you obviously have to get to know them a little better. To us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlian and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be neat to report on the outcome of our mission. That's fair. And it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelies at the Rostra and have her notify father. Oh, they've even got like a, like a little bit of the uh, 
the Endwalker theme playing in the background here. It's really low, but I can uh, I can hear it. That's a really nice touch. Okay, where's this putting me? Sun uh, growing light, I think, but I don't know uh, how much more I have left. Wait, aren't you with the Scions? Oh, aren't you uh, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, or were, rather? I, I understand you've disbanded. Okay. An audience with Lord Fortuna, you're in like the forum is... Uh, it's just this moment adjourned, and he's still inside the Skull Arch. Wait here while I inform him of your presence. Okay. Right. Let's see if we get more voice acting. Ooh, kind of snowing here. Nope. Uh, apologies to have kept you, I trust. Uh, you won't object if Skull Arch wants... Uh... Monticane also attends. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. My incorrigible children, were you not uh, assisting with Carlemald's reconstruction? Our house were most insistent that we take a rest, so here we are. Uh, but more importantly, Zvir has news that she would share with you. Plot! <laughs> Uh, so the threat has passed. These are glad tidings indeed. Harnessing light from the first, a technological triumph that could have indeed ended in catastrophic failure. <laughs> but let us not dwell on hypotheticals. Uh, like the Aether from the Isle of Hom, you employed the light for peaceful, albeit unanticipated, purposes. <laughs> Knowledge exists to serve the greater good. As my father was fond of saying, I'm inclined to agree in this instance. Uh, it has been established that world-ending crises in the reflections are connected to calamities in the source. As such, uh, the strides you made in understanding the nature of and affecting a change in a reflection may one day prove vital for mankind's preservation. Uh, the forum will be eager to review your accounts thoroughly, uh, for every drop of water serves to swell the greater, oh, the great river of knowledge. Oh, well, that's fair. Uh, might we prevail upon you uh, to prepare a comprehensive report, Ishtola, on the subjects? of the Void and Cross-Rift cross, cross rift Traveled both. Uh, be my pleasure. Uh, we will share these tidings uh, with those who aided you. Uh, oh, Kokol, Dankol, not least of all. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must be on our way. I should be, uh, be glad to speak with you both later. Oh, to his kids, probably. Yeah, it's a actually be the first time they've been home for a really long time so they might uh, you know their mom might actually enjoy seeing him too now that i think about it okay oh not you there we go growing light okay shola has the look of a woman satisfied with her work with that our our obligations here are concluded Oh, Nadana, what news from Thavnir? They've reunited then. Wonderful. Rest assured, all is well with us too. Oh, they've returned then. Okay. Is that so? Uh, we would be honored, of course. I shall relay this to the others. Uh oh. Oh, a great feast uh, will be held in Radzathan to celebrate Ejdaya's homecoming. Uh, we. 
We have all been invited. Oh, that's cool. I'm afraid my sister and I must decline. We've only just returned home. To leave again so soon would be inconsiderate to our parents. Well, eh, that's... Yeah, that's, that's fair. Uh, with regret, I too must excuse myself from attendance. A prior commitment... Weath that I remain in Charlian for a time. Okay. Uh, let not our absence deter you, however. Pray enjoy yourselves to the fullest. I have no plans in particular, so you can help me in. I may as well visit uh, the Radiant Host while I'm there. How about you, Sephira? Ooh. I do want to do this, but... Um... I kind of, I do want to go, so yeah. Far be it for me to turn down free food. <laughs> That's the spirit. But what about the Memoria Crystal? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it would be remiss of us not to deliver it promptly uh, to our friends in the first. Oh, uh, okay. Also, if they are to transfer light and dark between worlds, they will need command over the Crystal Tower. In which case, I shall give you my spirit vessel uh, to take again. When you arrive in the Crystarium, the sentries at the, ta at the tower should be able to round up everyone for you. Uh, once you have seen to matters there, come and join us in Magdu uh, Magadula. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that. Give everyone our regards, you hear? Mm -hmm. Man, this one's gonna hurt. I always feel bad going back here because I have to see Rain, and I'm always I always get a little sad because. You know, feel like she's sort of here by herself now, almost. I don't know, however you want to put it. Come back, madam. Mr. Serene is still in the ocular. We'll be joining her. Yes. Uh, very good. If you care to head inside, get, get sent for Captain Lena and Becklug at once. Hey. I shall plot you up to speed. Ah, yes. The king has already shared what they glimpsed in the source. The day is won, and the danger past. The king has already shared. Hearing the tidings lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Never before had I taken on such a monumental request. Small though it was, we are glad to have played a role in saving the Exarch's home. And yours. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norrant. Mm -hmm. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. A memoria crystal. I can feel it. The tremendous darkness within. Yeah, careful with that. Using darkness from the void to restore balance to this world. If such a thing could be done. Uh -huh. Well, well. Though night has returned to our world. Darkness cannot arise of its own accord, much less in abundance. But if it could be brought here in like manner to how we channeled light to the void, it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety. Mm hmm.
Yeah, just, just be careful with that. I don't want to find out you get possessed next time I come back. Also, like I said, I haven't seen Gaia at all. That spirit vessel with you? If so, I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive rather than send energy. Ooh, yeah, because then uh, you could go back and f you could send back and forth. Yeah, here you go, bud. Thank you. While I make no promises at this stage, I shall rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. My recent experience at Nabatha Rang has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time and focus instead on myself. Knowing Zero is out there, doing her utmost to restore her own world, it inspires me to redouble my efforts. Yeah, you take care, kiddo. Oh. There you are. Oh, hey! I wondered if you were gonna show up. I waited and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? Gaia! Okay, that answers that question. Hi! <laughs> you missed a lot. You. Oh. Did she lose her memory again? I never agreed to anything of the sort. Besides, coffee biscuits are old news. I'd rather try something else. You like them too. Well, no matter. The second serving has something for every taste. So let's just go. Oh. Enough about that. What were you talking about? Are you gonna remember this time? I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what. Harnessing darkness from the void. Now oh, there's an idea. Of course, if you're dealing with darkness, Rowena alone won't cut it. Next time, call on me as well, alright? It's not my fault you just showed up now. <laughs> hey. It was a mighty struggle, uh, but I had faith that you would be victorious in the end. And I doubt not that the people of Norvrant will cheer when they learn that the Warrior of Darkness managed to save her home. I know you are a busy woman, so don't let us keep you. Rest assured that we will continue the work we've begun. Hey, Miss Faith Pye, you want us with your presence? Though I am but a humble servant, I offer you... Uh, my heartfelt thanks for rescuing the satrap's beloved sister. Uh, without further ado, a great feast uh, to celebrate this joyous occasion is about to begin. The venue is Reed's Mahane here, the guest of honor. Oh, oh, cutscene. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, Ooh, like I said, those, uh, I don't know what those drinks are, but they look really good. Uh-uh. <laughs> it cannot be. <laughs> what? Oh, Vashan, 
my darling little brother. <laughs> to think that I will never see you again. Oh, buddy. <laughs> the way you carry on, anyone would think he was actually your brother. <laughs> Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes. And he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Varshan again. Never fear. Oh, yeah. I guess technically, um, now that I think about it, um, Nidhogg at one point, um, came to, like, went to, I think it was Hreisvelger back in Heaven's Word. Or like before Heaven's Word at one point without either of his eyes, I think. So technically, I guess that won't Do that you? wouldn't kill him. But will it be the little one? Personally, I prefer the adult vessel. It cuts a gallant figure and has superior functionality besides. Bah. I don't care about such things. Oh. My little brother is oh. little and adorable. Oh. <laughs> okay. Spanish. Sisters, give me strength. It is a fine thing being so loved. man has clearly had one too many drinks. Yep. Yeah, both of them too. Had enough of the revelry, have you? So, what's next for our hero? I don't know. No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. Yeah, that's fair. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. And you'll know when the time is right. True. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. And speaking of others. Discussing each other's plans, are we? Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, compiling my theories on cross rift travel. Yeah, well, have fun with that. My research may be classified, prohibited by the powers that be. Probably. But so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach, and I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. And what of you, Estinian? Have you any plans? That was fast. I did not see that coming. <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long. Though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed. That's fair. Well, the dragon song. Oh, yeah, a little one. <laughs> oh. 
that's Race Felger, maybe TM back. Falling back. I'm not sure who else might. Uh, yeah. uh, it was a lively feast, was it not? And it impressed upon me uh, once again how dear Reacher is to his people. Well, as much as I should like to linger, tis past time I took my leave. Uh, if you mean to depart as well, I suggest you call on Vreesher before setting out. And before I forget, thank you for everything we've learned and for everything we, we accomplished. I couldn't be more grateful. Aww. Till next time, take care. Yeah, they've done a really good job of uh, weaving a good narrative in here. Yeah, see, there he is. Okay. Spira, I hope you enjoyed the festivities. Uh, to be able to uh, celebrate Ashdai's return with everyone was moving beyond words. Yeah. Just happy that uh, you're both okay, buddy. Uh, lest you wonder, I've chosen to use this vessel for now. Uh, the better to escort my sister about Radzat Han. Okay. Uh, this leaves my true form without an eye, but I do not anticipate uh, having need of it in the immediate future. Long have I dreamed of showing Az Azdaya my beautiful city, a glittering jewel born of unity, and I shall relish every moment of it. Now then, I believe both Yastola and Astinian have embarked on their respective journeys, but, uh, but have you... Oh, but have you yourself business elsewhere? Not particularly. If not, you are welcome to remain here as long as you like. Should aught of import arise, we will inform you. But until such a day arrives, I bid you take your ease. Alright, thanks buddy. I am I'm just happy that you and your sister are, uh, are reunited again. Well, meanwhile, in Old Charlian. Okay, uh-oh. Everything appears to be in order. Okay. Oh, oh, finished at last. I don't think that's allowed. I'm going to have to find you another stack of paperwork. I... So time consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? Here, here. Now then, let's have a look at you. Quite old, this letter. We'll need to store it carefully. Okay. And inside we find... Addressed to grandfather, and come all the way from Tuliolo, from a Gulu someone. Oh. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Oh, well, rip. Come on, give me something. A commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. Oh. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission, nor have I seen any records. Uh. Hmm. Something else in here. What an unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? Three-leaf clover? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? To the Golden City in Tural? Maybe? I confess I have no idea where that might be.
That is still a really pretty statue. Oh, hey. My buddy's back. <sighs> back again already, after making a show of leaving. Well, this is it, Charlene. Quite a far cry from Tuliolo, yes? Okay. Come, let's go and find your candidate. Our adventurer friend. Uh... Okay, what? I'm I'm being drafted again. Okay, one door closes. Ah, Zephira. One of my clerks was just in here with a message for you. Uh, the students of Baldessian request your presence in Charlian at your earliest convenience. Okay, indebted as I am to our friends, I had hoped that I too might be of service, but it is you alone that they require. Uh, if you've no pressing business, pray make your way to the Baldessian Annex at once. Ojiko awaits your arrival. Okay. In the meantime, I shall continue showing us Die of the City. Uh, from notable landmarks to the people's lives, there is still much and more I wish for her to see. Yeah, you two take it easy, buddy. Farewell for now, my friend. I look forward to the day we set forth on another adventure together. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's the three of us next time. Uh, okay. Hello there. Warm and hearty welcome to you, Zephira. I've ga I gather you received our message. Uh, please wait while I fetch Kryl and Graha. Ooh. Okay. What's uh, what's going on? Okay. Oh, she's wearing the earring. Thank you for coming on such short notice. And forgive us for sending for you so soon after your trials in the void. Now then, uh, we aren't actually the ones who require your presence, but... Aaronville. Okay. He stopped by recently, you see, and asked us to reach out to you on his behalf. Okay. Uh, I imagine you're... Uh, you're as surprised as we are, given that he was supposed to be away on a long expedition. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. All he would tell me is that there is someone whom he wishes Zephira to meet. Okay. He also mentioned that he would be tending to business at at the studium. Uh, shall we look for him there? I guess so? Okay. Now then, where is Aaronville? I... No idea. Oh. Aaronville! Oh, hey, dialogue. Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. Not particularly. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Oh. Where did you go, if I may ask? The New World. Tural. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about you that. Went to Tural. Then the person who you wish to introduce. Aye, she hails from there. I present to you. Uh. 
But it, it seems you've lost her. Did she wander off? <sighs> sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. Okay. This is her. The adventurer you crossed the seas to meet. I can't place the no, accent. You weren't exaggerating. It's plain she's no ordinary woman. I'm Wuklamat, claimant to the throne of Tulihuela. Okay, I'm gonna butcher that all the time. I'm not I'm gonna apologize right now. It's Tural's governing nation. The capital bears the same name. Oh. Okay. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. Okay. Can we elaborate? Like, given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you're making it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The right of succession. Okay. Taking the form of a contest, it will determine who next ascends the throne. So I can become... Wait, can I? His daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. Okay. So why, why do I need to be there? Champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds, who flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. <laughs> she asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. <laughs> Someone's, uh, you know, I, I have a fan at least. Now you know why. You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. <laughs> Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamulja who rule in Toral? Tulihyolal is a nation of many peoples. Not only the Mamulja, as some across the seas are quick to assume. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulja, and one blessed with two heads besides. Blessed with? What? Okay. He's also my father. Not by blood, obviously. But he raised me as his own, and that's what matters. Okay. So that is the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. Hardly. I know little about your land, and nothing about your parentage. Oh lord, that's complicated. Uh, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you could do far worse than come with me. Oh? Now, this is only a rumor. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold and the legendary beast, Valley Armanda. Nope. No. Valley Armanda. I don't know if that's a name. It's not a name I recognize from any Final Fantasy I've played. Tell me that doesn't pique your interest. Yeah, I think I've heard about that before. So the tales have reached even these shores. <laughs> I can't help but feel proud. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. 
Golden cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. Oh. Says the dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Oh, okay. This lady is like super blunt. Yeah, poor Urnvale's gonna need a senzu bean for that one. <laughs> that glare. And the Golden City. Just like in the letter to Grandfather. Oh. Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I'll need capable and dependable companions. So let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted. Hold on. If I compete, can I? Can I? Uh, can I get? Can I become ruler of a country? Uh. Okay, wait, what are we doing now? We're hunting we're going on a hunt. Now I'm I'm a little confused. Game is a foot. Brought to you up here is equal parts bewildered and excited. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit there. Uh, the chance to see not only Tural, but the fabled city of, uh, the fabled golden city besides. This is the stuff of grand adventures, my friend. Which, it's not to say, uh, you should hastily accept this invitation, mind. There's still a great deal we do not know. So let us begin to rectify that by getting acquainted with our visitor in the manner she, she suggests. Yeah, sounds good, I suppose. I'm not certain... Uh, what might be a suitable location for her hunt, however. When I was at the guild earlier, I learned about a petition from researchers on the Isle of Ham. Okay. Uh, you went there not long ago and called some unruly fauna, of course, but according to recent reports, other ordinarily docile fauna have grown savage. It's believed that they've been unsettled by some manner of Predator, and so the researchers seek assistance with identifying and dispatching it as part of your hunt. Perhaps you might not answer the petition. The isle isn't far, and uh, we would also be helping those in need. That works for me. Uh, just so you know, I've honed my skills against some of the fiercest beasts in Tural. Whatever this creature is, they'd better be able to put up a proper fight or it'll end before we have a chance to get acquainted. Okay. Before we can prove ourselves capable and dependable companions. My apologies, but I must see to some preparations. Pray go on go on ahead to the aisle. I will join you as soon as possible. Okay. No. Yeah. The rest of you are ready. Let's head to the harbor. Uh, this being guild ship business, it should be simple enough to secure a vessel. Okay. So are we going into... Wait, are we going into another dungeon again? Or are we just going back to the aisle? Ah, here's the dungeon entrance. Okay. So we have to take a ship. Ugh, and I barely set foot on dry land. Oh well, I suppose it's for a good cause. A hunt. Come, uh, come on, let's get going. On boarding the ship, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Recommended to set aside efficient time. Participate in a battle. Enter a battle associated with other quests. Log out from the game. I don't think... I'm, I Wait, am I level sync to 660? I'm not... I, I am definitely not that high I, I level. <laughs> ah... From here, we must walk. I know you're real disappointed about that. So much ice. It rivals even Yoktural. Oh. 
Oh, white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. <laughs> I know. I know. Also, unless I'm mistaken, uh, so bear can tend to taste very greasy. Aye, the Isle of Ham. The geysers lie deep inland, however. Okay. You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about this place. Kawana. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. Yeah, I don't know. This brother of yours, he has been to Charlian. He has. Kono's my second older brother. And until recently, he was a student in this city. Kona. He went on and on about technological amusements. He made me want to come here too one day. I am not familiar with him, but... And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studio. Yeah, I don't know. He went to the studio? Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder... Like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet... I recall nothing of the sort. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Oh, okay. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. Okay. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what you can. Yeah. I'd like to know what's going to kick my butt. Yeah, I said that right. Okay. My item level has been synced up. Okay. There. The building to the northeast. Okay. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that thinks to try me. Right, let's hunt our field. Okay. So is Aaron real? He's kind of. Here to hang out. Sort of. Yeah. Kind of looks like it. Look, someone's in trouble.
Oops. There we go. Ooh, hit a big crit there. Yes, thank you. Hard press surveyor. Oh, thank goodness you've come. I take it you're the one who answered our petition. Wait, aren't you? You are. Zephyr, the adventurer who saved our star. Uh, would that our meeting was under better circumstances. I was conducting a routine inspection of the transporter here when I suddenly found myself surrounded. Uh, you'll find more of the same across the chasm. Once docile animals grow strangely aggressive, my colleague, uh, my colleagues can tell you more. Uh, if you give me just a moment, I'll finish checking our equipment. Okay. You really are famous. Okay. Morgan's good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. More concerned about what's going on. Like, you know. Uh. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. Hey. Uh, uh, the adventurer come to answer our petition, I presume. We're most fortunate to have one of our, uh, one of your considerable skill here to aid us. A creature of unknown origins has been sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe its presence has affected our the local fauna. Uh, the animals beyond this gate are the worst affected we've encountered thus far, though we dare not go back. The task is to quell any threats you find and search the area for traces of the beast responsible. If you find anything, anything at all, I'd be most grateful if you would share it. Okay. I'll handle this. Okay. Is that all? Come on, let's pick up the creature's trail. Oh. Well, these things are already dead. You find ravaged beast remains torn to shreds by sharp talons. Marks. I've seen their like before. <laughs> It's starting to feel like a proper hunt. Okay, where are we going? Why is it out this way? Okay. You guys kept going this way. Why are we going this way? Oh. Okay. Uh, you find feathers are scattered on the ground. Find signs of a first struggle. But did they belong to the predator or the prey? I don't know. So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat? I think I'm going over here. Leaving the cellular nostrils of every beast so Still close fresh. at hand. Whatever this beast, it cannot be far. a lot more black magic here.
Okay, never mind. Head back and report what we found. Okay, so they're some sort of bird that's shown up, maybe? I don't know. Let's I don't know if that's even right. We don't actually know anything about what we could be fighting. Powerful wings and razor sharp talons. <laughs> Worthy prey. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's uh, demonic toucan Sam. Huh, that is a big, yeah, that is a big demonic toucan Sam. It's heading towards the falls. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. What? Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Come, Wuklamat. Right. Actually, I would say, I don't know that that's... You know, very surprising, considering that... I know parrots and whatnot are uh, well known for being able to do that. Just so we're clear, I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. <laughs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit. Okay. It has no teeth, though, so why would it eat meat? Okay, what am I fighting? Oh, giant, whatever. Okay, somebody else go, uh, go make friends. Or not, okay. Talk all you like, bird. I'm going to have the last laugh. Oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. Seen such an enormous colibri. Not good. Quickly, gather together. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, this fight is taking a really long time. Yeah, I don't know about you, dude, but I think I've been doing that. Yeah, that fucking took forever. Holy crap. <sighs> oh. I mean, I guess it might have to do with the fact that I don't think my item level is anywhere near 660. <laughs> it was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. to be expected <laughs> you were pretty impressive yourselves I was right to invite you on a hunt but what a curious bird that was though we have similar in Tural they don't grow so big or use such dirty tricks wait it's not dead I dirty and despicable otherwise I could have easily mm. Oh, feign death. Leave this to me. Oh. Showing off Pictomancer already? Cryo. 
I am terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. Oh, I like the cute little like pouch she's got with the with the colors. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations. After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. <laughs> <gasps> that was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? Yeah. You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Uh -huh. Recognizing that my skills were... inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar, rather than join you. Aww. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind again and again. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. Aww. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. Huh. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. Oh. With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon Realm, Pictomancy. Oh wow, okay, they literally call it the Archon Realm. Okay, straight nod to Final Fantasy VI. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What? I feel called out. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the ritual of succession. Is there any particular reason? Old letter. Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A uh, Gulul someone. Jaja. Gulul Jaja. That's my father, Idan's servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Servant himself? Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. That'd be convenient. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Toriyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. Okay. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. Oh? The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? 
This letter, however, is entirely an Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. Okay. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. Okay, so what is this? So the letter is fraudulent, then. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. It's possible. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yola. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. Well, we'll get to you see in a few weeks. On a course of action. Month ish. Would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. <laughs> one track mind. We're eating that. Heck. Okay. Hey, we're back. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this probably had something to do with why uh, why this took so long. I'm like 30 item levels below what uh, what it recommended. Uh, with the wildlife pacified and the researchers say her task is complete, uh, that just leaves the matter of the Kolpiri meat. Uh, for better or for worse, there is only one place we can take here in Charlie in the last stand. Come, let us see what uh, Daikon can cook up for us. Okay. Didn't really think I, I just thought I was further behind. Well, no. Uh, there's a famished face if I've ever seen one. What can I get you, Zephyra? Oh, bird meat from a hunt, you say? Leave it to me. I have just the recipe. It's a new dish I've recently learned from some sailors. And for you lot, it's on the house. Uh, have as much as you like, you hear? Okay, as long as it's not Archon Loaf. Come, come. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. Okay. I'd heard that Charleyan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. What is this? Oh, it smells spicy. <laughs> oh no, it's Zero's death curry. <laughs> oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. I had to stutter. According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razad Han after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. Yep. So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. Like I said, I blame Zero. <laughs> it's nothing I can't handle. <laughs> literally tearing up. Your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. Hard <laughs> pill out. I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Wow. Okay. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? Oh wow, that was fast. I've been Steve since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. Dang. <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. 
Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. That's fair. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Oh wow, she is eating a lot of food. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home. And they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. Yep. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. Okay. And that's how Tuliolal came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. You guys even realize that the world almost ended? Getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. Uh oh. A man who is too ambitious by half. Okay. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. Huh. Okay. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. Okay. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Okay. I, I, sh I, I, sh I should have said this sooner. I've half expected, like, every other time we, like, cut to a shot that has her plate on it. I want to see, like, another, you know, like, another bone and, like, the, you know, the pile of meat getting smaller. <laughs> oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. Oh? The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. It's fair, That's I guess. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. Yeah, but not one of good gear. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tuli Hualal? You don't need to decide right this moment. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. Oh, there she goes. And one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? Okay. I feel like I'm sitting across from Goku. Like, just, you know. Uh-huh. Whether Ruklamot has the makings of a ruler, I couldn't say, but I do know uh, that she deeply cares for her nation and her people. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean that you know, there's a lot more to being a, you know, being a ruler, though. Uh, whether you think you can help her, though, is for you and you alone to decide. Think on it well. Now then, it's past time I reported our mission success to the guild ship. I would have done so sooner, except her highness needed to have her royal meal. <laughs> 
I shall come by the annex later. Till then. Okay, do I have any of these? Nope. 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 Okay. Silver pieces it is. I have silver pieces, probably. Coming dawn. Rati is mulling over what you have learned of Wuklamot and her plan. Well, I dare say we now have a fair grasp of Wuklamot's situation. Still, uh, you've been afforded time to consider her invitation. Why not use it to learn more about Tural? Numenon is bound to have more information on the continent. Certainly wouldn't hurt. That wouldn't hurt, I guess. Quite right. Not only uh, would it help you make an informed decision, but if you choose to, if you do choose to go, uh, you would be better prepared for what awaits. Come, my friend. Let's be off to the archives session. But. Yeah, I think I want to try Pictomancer, maybe Viper a little bit, but um, I won't, you know, won't lie that uh, not a hundred percent sure uh, which of those I might actually enjoy. Uh, the origins of blue magic can be traced back to esoteric practices of of the Wallachy tribe in the distant continent of Tural. Tribe holds nature in the highest. Nature in the highest. And in seeking to cultivate a spiritual connection with it, they have learned to harness the power of the wildlife around them. Okay. In exchange for teaching them the common tongue, I was permitted to live among them and train in their ways. Those days were some of the most grueling I remember, but they were tremendously rewarding. For instance, I had the privilege of visiting Lapis Canyon, the tribe's sacred grounds. It is so named for the ceruleum deposits that well up that that wells up to the surface, turning the entire canyon a brilliant blue. Oh, cool! Under a shaman's watchful eye, I finally managed to master the Wallachie's art and make the animal's power my own. As no name existed for it in the common tongue, I took the liberty of naming it Blue Magic. Uh, the reason I chose this color. As you will have doubtlessly gleaned, is for the significance it holds to the Wallachy. Uh, I cannot think of a name more fitting to honor the people for whom this noble magic was born. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I don't even have blue. I don't even think I have blue mage unlocked, and I'm not. I'm not about that. Um, uh, is it possible to? Adequately, adequately discuss Eorzean cuisine without speaking of that land from which many of our modern-day staples hails. The far western continent of Tural. Ogre pumpkins, ruby tomatoes, and even the ubiquitous pot uh, popoto. Uh, these crops and more the regularly grace Eorzean dining tables uh, trace their origins to the New World. Uh as the place is known to most. <clears throat> uh, tale of this culinary immigration began late in the okay, uh, Sixth Astral Era. Flemington Sailor successfully traveled Indigo Deep, traversed the Indigo Deep to arrive at the there theretofore unknown continent. Katen Katenram sp spent several moons exploring inland and in the course of which he encountered the denizens of the sprawling nation of Mumble Jaw, he was even granted an audience with their supreme leader, whose confidence he won along with permission to roam freely, returned to Tyrell several times, but, but during his first expedition he charted land and gathered a myriad of root vegetables and seeds to bring back to Limsa. Most notable were the Popoto, whose ease of cultivation and nutritional values saw quick spread across all corners of Eorzea, produced Oh, produce was far from the only bounty from his expedition. Many tantalizing recipes, such as bean burritos and gripping legends, uh, such as that of the Golden City, reached the shores by way of his ship. To those outside of his circles, Terrell largely remains shrouded in mystery, uh, yet its influence on our cuisine cannot be overstated. Many scholars, myself included, would relish the chance to immerse ourselves or immerse themselves in the culinary adventure of that faraway continent. Okay. 
Oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, there it is. Give me a second here. Um, every land has given rise to unique wildlife, and the continent of Tor oh, continent of Terrell is no exception. Yet, while some of her creatures have become a familiar sight in Eorzea, many, many and more exist that are rarely seen this side of the Indigo Deep. Okay, so that's what they call the uh, the ocean indigo deep. Uh, this tome introduces a select variety of species as described in the testimonies of sailors and adventurers. Oh, alpacas. Uh, accustomed to Terrell's craggy mountains, four-legged beast can have been domesticated for seemingly hundreds if not thousands of years. Their soft white fleece, uh, highly prized by weavers, while their strong legs and sure-footedness make them capable of beasts of burden. Right. Wyvery? Wibray? Maybe? Uh, this furious scalekin is native to the denizen jungles of Toral. The mammal jaw have succeeded in taming them and utilizing their prestigious strength for manual labor. Given their immense size and power, it should come as no surprise that the Wyvery uh, is also employed as a siege beast. Enemy fortifications can uh, uh, cannot long withstand their the horn this horned brute's rampage. Okay. Balagarmanda. Galari folklore holds that this bird-like creature is the mightiest of beasts and is the embodiment of nature's power. Whether it exists beyond myth, however, is uncertain. Okay, so that's. So it's some sort of, like, it's some sort of, uh, like, myth about a bird. Okay, that's a really bad way of putting it, but... Uh, let us begin to compare the geo geographical characteristics of the three great continents and Tural. Uh, the former stretches from east to west and lies entirely within the northern hemisphere. In contrast, the latter extends uh, to the far reaches of both northern and southern hemispheres, and a different and a difference immediately presents itself in the form of climate variance. Shifts in climate tend to be gentler when moving east to west, but harsher when moving north to south, owing to the fact oh, owing to this fact, longitudinal migration is far more common in history, whether it be by man, animals, or plants. And case in point is the Alligans who rose uh, to power in Aldenard before advancing east into Ilsebard. Their movement would be mirrored thousands of years later by the Garlians. Meanwhile, although the, dis uh, the disparate tribes of Tolal waged war with one another for generations, stymied by the climate, uh, none could make any great headway north or south. Uh, tribes hailing from the frozen lands weathered beneath oh withered beneath the desert sun while well, those that thrived in the open plains could not pierce the dense jungles such was the way of it until the leader of the mammal jaw succeeded in bringing the continent under one banner given the land's divided history and the reasons thereof uh one cannot help but be in awe of his feet truly it is a testimony to the autarch's greatness I'm not familiar with the term. Somewhat better informed about your destination. Books again. No, I'm, I'm good. It's a lot of reading. Okay. Also. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Sorry, that was important.
Okay, hey, scoured the library to your satisfaction, have you? Excellent. Well, there are a few books wholly dedicated to the subject of Tural, I dare say uh, you found tidbits of useful information scattered here and there. But come, let's continue this outside. The Mets do not take kindly to chatter. That's fair. We are uh, potentially having a discussion in the library. Now then, I am quite keen to hear your honest impressions. I couldn't help but notice that uh, we read the very same book on cuisine. I was pleasantly surprised to find references to Tural within. Among them, did anything in particular pique your interest? Ah, yes, the renowned Limson explorer who traversed the Indigo Deep and discovered the Unknown West. And his accomplishments didn't end there. He traveled through all extensively and even forged a friendship with the Dawn Servant. We were able to meet... Huh? Katenrem, what things could we learn? Alas, all of this happened nigh four score... Four score years ago. Or score. I don't know how many... Is that only four years ago? And he may not be along. Oh, he may no longer be alive to tell his tales. Uh, but moving on, did you perchance learn aught about the fauna? Uh, given your adventuring background, I expect the topic would interest you. Yeah, see, this is what's curious. What I'm curious about. Now, why do I get the impression you're imagining pitting your skills against the fell beast? <laughs> Unfortunately, I found scant details on your would-be prey. One source simply described it as an enormous winged creature with scales hard as steel. Oh, hard as steel that rules the skies. I should like to see it with my own eyes, presuming it it even exists. I mean, when you depict it like that. It, Sounds like it could almost be a dragon of some description. Thought I heard familiar voices. Oh, hey! Oh yeah, I remember you two are still in town. Fancy running into you two here. Oh well, have some research of your own, do you? Hi, we hope to arm ourselves with knowledge that may been Oh may benefit the Garlean people. Uh, having forged a new trade agreement with Rods at Han, they will next uh, look to foster relations with other nations. This includes former Imperial provinces. Uh, in view of this, we hope to find hints in history on how neighbors of differing races and ideologies might engage with one another. What of you two? What endeavor uh, brings you here this day? Plot. Nation composed of the disparate peoples of Tural. I dare say this is precisely the kind of example we seek. We'd do well to read up on... Uh, to Leolo ourselves. Pardon me. The contest is if you're the only one allowed to help Wuklamat. There was no mention of such restrictions. As I recall, on the contrary, Wuklamat gave us the impression that she would have several champions, or she could have several champions. I think I know how to make the most of our respite. Follow me, Elfino. We have planning to do. That was... <laughs> Wait! Uh, Seem our plans have changed, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, got leveling to do, kiddo. Uh, they never could rest on their laurels. Come, let us return to the Annex.
Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next expansion. I, uh, you know, I feel like I should say, uh, I think I have to run back. Yep. Yeah, I didn't realize that, um, like, in-game, Popotos came from, uh, from over there, from Tural. I think that's kind of, I don't know if that mirrors, you know, real life, but whatever. Oh. Hey, buddy. It's just, despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. Yeah. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse what Clamat's request? Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather not get involved in politics. <laughs> um, I like the new adventure, and I'm not undecided that way, but, like, I'm, you know, like, I'm just not, uh, If only others had the same good sense. <laughs> if the prospect troubles you, sir, why not consider what you stand to gain instead? That is an exciting journey to a faraway continent. Yeah, see, I don't have a problem with that. In the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you might find yourself moved to help Wuklamat after all. And if not, well, you quietly take your leave a brazen plan perhaps but one that befits a veteran adventurer you must agree yeah it does that uh, works always were a smart smart one there bud such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar distant as it is Tural remains largely unknown to us with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had. All the things you might hear, feel, and think. It's enough to stir me to the core. Well, we know you want to go. Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. Getting philosophical in your old age. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Yep. Ah. But there's an idea. No. Oh. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly. Oh. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Oh, someone's listening. I'm guessing Thankard's coming too. Okay, and... 
Welcome back. If you're looking for Wuklamot, she's currently with the others in her chambers. If you like, you can go fetch them. Yeah, go for it. Understood. Please wait in the main hall. Uh, where am I waiting? Oh, in here? The main hall. Okay. Alright. Oh. See, I guess this map has uh, the other continent on it. Or at least what I can see of it. You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on then. Let's hear it. Huh. Never been one to turn down an adventure, I'll do it. I wish to boldly go where I've never gone before. Okay, let's do that. Hm. Then you need me as much as I need you. Together we'll blaze new trails in Tural. Okay. Oh. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? I mean, your parent, you two, your parents might say something, might have something to uh, say about that. Alpha, no, Alize, what are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Erinville's toads. A hundred things about us you could have told her, and you chose that. <laughs> First impressions last. <laughs> Tis an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service, and this is my sister Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. So, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald. Yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. Yeah, you know, the ones he conquered. As much we might learn from Tuliolo, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlemald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? <laughs> Nonsense. Like I told you before, you're indispensable. I love it how my man is just like, can I go now? And it's like, no. <laughs> They're strong, I. But strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them. To point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. Well, I do that a lot. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions... I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. Uh-oh. <clears throat> As I recall, Kryl, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Still, I can't help but worry about being away just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadal's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. 
Wait. Leave the students to Ojika and me. Oh, are you staying behind? Oh, look at me. I can't help. <laughs> you don't want me. You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Oh, but buddy. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. So is he well, sitting out? Looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. Yeah, no count on it. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. Good thing you spent it and I didn't. There. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world. Created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. Oh yeah, I guess they would know, you know. Adventure. I guess they would know where all the continents are, or they should. Oh, here comes the, uh, the Endwalkers tune, the Endwalker theme again. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh let's, uh, wonder about your passage to Tyrol. Erinville Aaron, will arrange a ship through his guild. Uh, you need only worry about your own preparation. Speaking of which, please take this with you. A rugged and ready knapsack. May it serve you well in your coming adventures. I'm not sure when your departure will be, but rest assured, I'll let you know when I hear something. Please take care. Uh, research has proven that wearing a knapsack or similar uh, it greatly reduces the likelihood of being pestered with questions about how you can carry this many items used to acquire a knapsack. Okay. Oh. Meanwhile, it limps a Lominsa. All right, what's, what's going on? When does the next ship set sail? Oh, buddy. I ask your destination? The north and east, I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. Oh, he's just gonna get there by chance. That's funny. West, you say? That's that's beautiful. This uh, <laughs> man just you know just is gonna happen to decide to show up there. Meanwhile, in Old Charlian, okay. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. Okay, what's going on? But to think that our comrades too are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. Indeed. It will be a grueling task having to contend with them. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Oh, are they helping, uh, are they helping someone else? 
Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> Then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Okay. Aye. This will be a mission to remember. Come, my friend. We make for Tural. Okay, so they're going to Tural too, but they're not helping us. And they said to contend with them, so I have a feeling they're helping, like, another candidate, perhaps. Pardon me. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Oh, don't the oh, damn it. beyond the frozen waters of blind frost in Offerhood's north. The fabled golden cities of the new world. Oh, buddy. I won't forget, buddy. Way anchor now, the tide is high, and dawn and dawn of new adventure nigh. Row forth to break horizon's bond and tread the gilded path beyond. Tomorrow's unknown. a back item? Personal effect. Oh, okay. I have a okay, I have a backpack. Oh, I've got like a gleaner's backpack. That's so cool. Okay. Yeah. So, it'll be a little short today, but I think this is a uh yeah, this this feels like a uh, a good place to call it here. Um, yeah, like I said, while well, uh, well, I was unnecessarily watching the uh, the credits there, um, I yeah I I very much enjoyed um, N Walker. Um, I also won't lie. Um, I was you know I was a little it was uh, a little emotional for me finishing uh, N Walker like. Well, and Walker proper, I guess. Like, uh, post, uh... I don't know if it's 6.0 or 7.0. I, I forget. I don't remember what number it is. Um, what the patch number is or whatever. But, uh, finishing, like, the point oh stuff for, uh, for N Walker, uh... It was, it was pretty emotional for me, and I had to take a break. But, uh... But, yeah, I've... I, I've really enjoyed, uh... You know, I enjoyed the story... You know, the, the story for N Walker, and, uh... I've enjoyed uh you know this stuff here leading up to uh leading up to dawn trail and like i said before i'm i am looking forward to it um again like i said i'm not uh not 100 percent sure what uh um what class i'm you know sort of considering playing around with um like i said um I might do, uh, I might give Viper a shot. Um, I'm curious about Pictomancer. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, Pictomancer doesn't crash the game like it did, uh, like it did potentially in, uh, you know, in Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> For those of you who know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, otherwise, uh, I will say, uh, like I said during the uh, the cutscene there, but yeah, final thoughts. Uh, the expansion's been amazing, um, and I mean I haven't done all the raids. Uh, I guess you know in uh, video in uh, you know let me know in the comments 
if uh, if I should uh, go back and do that stuff or uh, cause, I mean I, I mean I don't think I need the gear now but at the same time like my uh, my item level is like yeah like literally 630 so um but I mean yeah I'm still wearing like you know 610 some whatever like my gear is all uh, all over the place so but uh but yeah anyways um, it's a little early, but, uh, I think this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be where we call it first night. I want to thank everybody so much for watching, and, uh, for those of you, uh, um, for those of you who do eventually, uh, watch this on YouTube, perhaps, uh, you know, thank you as well for watching, and, uh, hope you, uh, consider dropping a like or dropping a follow on the stream, but, uh, pardon me, to, uh, all of my, uh, you know, fellow Final Fantasy XIV players, I, uh, I hope you, I uh, hope you all, uh, you know, enjoy Dawn Trail, and, uh, we will, you know, we will see you on the new world. All right.